Hi everybody, welcome to Matthew Crandall Reviews. Today I'm going to take a look at new in theaters, Steve Jobs. This movie is inexplicably tanking. It's from Universal Pictures. It stars Michael Fassbender, Kate Winslet, Seth Rogen, and Jeff Daniels. It is written by the incomparable Aaron Sorkin and directed by Danny Slumdog Millionaire Boyle. Now, full disclosure, I love Sorkin. So Sorkin's dialogue, I just love it. I love Sports Night, West Wing, Newsroom, you know, Few Good Men, Social Network. The guy is a cocky prick. He does write characters that can be misogynistic assholes, but oh boy, does he do it in such an entertaining and insightful way. Now, Steve Jobs is presented in a unique way. It's not a perfectly linear biopic. It's not about the birth, life, and death of Steve Jobs. It's actually about three product launches and the 40 minutes before Steve Jobs goes on stage to give a keynote address. Now, because it's Sorkin and we're working with this unique structure, of course it's not going to be 100% accurate to what actually happened because we're going to cram a lot of significant stuff into that 40 minutes and 40 minutes and 40 minutes to keep us entertained. If we actually just watched what Steve Jobs 100% did 40 minutes before the keynote address, it'd probably be a lot of him brushing his teeth and checking in the mirror, and it would be very boring. But wisely, they make this movie a character study, so it's much more just about the character of Steve Jobs and the people he interacts with, rather than what he did in certain events. Um, it opens beautifully with the launch of the Mac, early 80s, and they filmed this segment on 16 mil, so it's grainy as shit, uh, but really nice contrast to the colors, and it really puts you in that vibe. And right from the get-go, Fassbender gets some cutting dialogue. Sorkin is off the charts uh, with just the wit and the acid that he brings to it. Fassbender and Kate Winslet especially, over the movie, watching their character dynamic evolve and seeing the inner workings of what's going on with them was fascinating. Seth Rogen as Steve Wozniak was perfect casting. He really evokes it. And in Act 2, he's got a great scene with Fassbender. And then in the final act, he's got some of the best lines of the movie with Fassbender on stage just being a complete jackass. And it's moments like that that really make Steve Jobs something special because it's not a straight-ahead biopic like the Kutcher film um, where we just go through the motions and follow the stuff that we could learn from a documentary. This is all about the dialogue and the characters, much like a play. And it plays like a three-act play. The middle act they shot on 35, and it gets one of the best scenes of the movie between Jeff Daniels and Fassbender, where Scully and Steve Jobs are talking about why does everyone think that he fired Steve Jobs? And that segment was absolutely incredible. The acting was off the charts. The editing in that sequence was flawless. The music put you on edge. One of the most thrilling dialogue exchanges in any movie so far this year. And then the main thing that I think a lot of people are criticizing about this film, the final act takes place before the launch of the iMac computer it is shot on digital in more of a, a slick, modern times look to it, which was a very interesting choice of Danny Boyle to do each segment and give it its own distinct look. But in the finale, the last five minutes of this movie sort of takes a turn that's not sitting well with a lot of people, where Steve Jobs is not presented as a, a brilliant, nice genius. He's presented as... Uh, curmudgeonly genius who's kind of a bit of a, a doctor house like a prick and they sort of pin a gold star on him at the very end and give him this nice sappy moment that doesn't exactly ring true and I think that's why a lot of people are leaving the theater on a sour note but when you have 115 minutes of pure dynamite and five minutes that kind of sucks it really is a shame to let that five minutes where they don't quite stick the landing be the only takeaway from this because the directing in this movie, the camera work, and just the style of each segment uh, and the use of cutting back and cutting forward was really well done. I think this is Boyle's best movie 
since Sunshine, probably. And it just really worked for me, along with the fantastic performances. I think Daniels, Fassbender, and Winslet all deserve nominations for their work in this. And Sorkin for screenplay, hands down right now, would be my Oscar frontrunner. Can't say enough about it. If you want a really fast-paced, quick-witted drama and are not afraid to just enjoy the character moments and not be driven by some A to B plot, and you don't mind a little bit of saccharin at the end. So that's Steve Jobs in theaters now, tanking hard. Go see it on the big screen while you can, so you can be in the know when those nominations start coming out beginning of next year. Thanks a lot for watching, and don't forget to hit subscribe.